What's going on guys? You are locked into Trending with Nate and today I am joined by possibly the most iconic, legendary artist I have ever had on this show. Today we are celebrating 30 years, the one and only Crown Prince Jazzy B. Oh my God. I never thought I'd have Jazzy B on trending, guys. <laughs> I am so happy today. Jazzy, thank you so much for coming. No, thank you. I love your energy, man. Oh, no, I love your no, energy. It's, it's so good. Oh, That's so a beautiful much. thing, yeah. And we are celebrating 30 years. Yeah, 30 so years. Congratulations, firstly. Thank you so much. Thank what you. a journey. We're going to talk about all of it. But firstly, just I want everyone that's sitting there in their living rooms right now to stand give, up. Yes, yeah, stand <laughs> up and give Jazzy a round of applause because 30 years is that is like goat level, like for real. So, Jazzy, let's talk about the beginnings. How did you start out? Oh, man, you know, um, nobody in the family into music, not at all, yeah. except my chat, Jazzy. Mm. Uh, He's no more, but uh, you know I think he's the reason I started singing. I remember him playing Ustad these like vinyls and yeah. you know cassettes, and <clears throat> I remember uh, four years old this winter on my chacha's shoulder, first time saw Ustadji performing in my band. Oh my you god! You know I can still close my eyes and see the kala kurta kala chadra kali torleli pag and. Whoa, man, you know, that's it. That's and that was the moment for four-year-old Jazzy B. That's it, that, that's how, you know, the, you know, Supana Jidha Lana Shuru Ho Gaya Bhi, Iddi Barna, Iddi Barna. And like I said, here we are, 30 years later. And here we later. are today? Yeah, so. Was there, you know, I think back in the day, sometimes there were opposing opinions and people were like, no, you shouldn't go into music or arts. Did you ever face any of that? Oh, definitely. I think we're still facing that. Yeah. You know, I think, uh, uh, judgmental mm. or especially our mm. uh, community i could say yeah. you know just always like you know uh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like no don't do that yeah, yeah, okay, da, da, yeah. Da, yeah you know to the point where it's like oh, you know like yeah. now obviously they realize yeah it is it you is know a, what i mean yeah. it's, it's, it is a career it's a yeah. career yeah right I, I'm, I'm blessed yeah. you know like go around the world meet new people and yeah you get paid too exactly you know what i mean it's, it's, it's the lifestyle yeah. that you know god gave it to me yeah. so i think us humans are always you know greedy we yeah. never thank we're looking for the next uh, thing apa, apa bhi we, will just, we never say thank you we're always asking i'll just say simply we need to realize the thank you whatever you gave us you know so i think that's the simple funda you know you have <laughs> yeah. you have to respect and you know thank god for it man exactly yeah, so. exactly so what are the kind of struggles you faced starting out to get to this point now? yeah I, I think being an artist if you don't struggle mm. you, you, you don't you, you're not a complete artist you won't know what, what's going to hit you like I, I always tell the kids like youngsters who look up to me I'm like it's okay to struggle because when, when you don't go through that journey, you're not going to know what's ahead of, you know, yeah. coming ahead. So, then you like, you know, keep your feet on the ground, be grounded, mm -hmm. and, 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 and that's life. Yeah. You know, it's, it's not easy. It's, it's not going to be like smooth road, man. So ups and downs are going to come in life. So yeah. I think uh, for an artist who don't struggle, they don't last that long. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think you almost take it for granted. Yeah. Because when you've gone through struggles, you're yeah. learning constantly yeah. and you're picking yourself back up. And if it yeah. comes easy yeah. to you, you take it for granted. Like, yeah, oh, for granted, yeah. Like, this has just come, come to me, like, yeah. Yeah, like when I started in 93, uh, everything was good, going good. You know, the career just started. People know who Jazzy B is now. Yeah. And 90, after 95, uh, the, uh, the folk and funky album, 96 kind of thing. I, um, my throat went, yeah. you know, because I have so many shows, mm. you know, if you get like a, this, uh, a spot on your uh, vocal cords, meningitis, right? Mm. And I was struggling, but, you know, my promoters or the manager, they didn't care. They just want to make money. So dollar, like, yeah. Koi yeah. Kari ja. But I know I, I had to cancel so many shows. Mm. I used to cry to myself. I like, okay, the career just started. Eki ho gaya. Eki ho gaya. You know, I, I think that's one of the reasons I stay humble, like ek skent di game ya. He could take it away like that, you know what I mean? But thank God, or the sun lagiya, you know, they and I came stronger. So yeah, don't take anything for granted, man. 
that was... So like you said, obviously, with your throw and yeah. your voice went, balancing your health yeah. and your personal life with, obviously, your stardom, how did you find the right balance? Yeah, because did you find a pressure that, no, I need to go and I need to show up for my fans? Yeah. There is that pressure as well on artists? Yeah, there is, of mm. course. I think you have to balance it. I remember, uh, uh, I think my daughter Aisha was, well, maybe four years old. Mm. I was leaving from Vancouver to come here to UK. And, you know, the thing she said, she goes, Papaji, can't you get a normal job? Oh. You know, it, that just broke my yeah. heart. And I just hugged her, you know, it's like, it, it, oh. it, it, it just like, she doesn't care who mm, I am. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, for, yeah. For her, you're just her dad. It, yeah, yeah, her dad, right? Yeah. So, and, and she hated every time I left. Mm. But yeah, it, it's very tough to balance it. But, uh, you know, I think the kids understand, you know, they understand hey, it's, 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 it's part of the package, yeah. you know, it's always on the go, but, you know, try to balance it for sure. Yeah. yeah, 100%. So before you became Jazzy B, you did have a few name changes as well. So how did you kind of get to this point? You thought, okay, yeah, Jazzy B is the name. How did you create your brand and your image? Yeah, well, I think, you know, the first, uh, the poster, Indrajit Bains mm. designed, right? That was back in 93 when the album was going to drop. And I remember this, Vancouver back in the days, one of the biggest uh, on Basaki. So the album was going to drop around there, so, right? So we'll go like, we're going to put these posters up, right? I said, who is Jazzy Baines, uh, right? With the B, like, you know, whatever. And we went to the market, wanted to put the posters up. And the guy's like, but I knew uh, he was my friend. I was, come on, man, dad, no, right? <laughs> and I remember climbing, climbing up, like back in the day, there used to be like 70, 80,000 people at Nagarkirtan, and my face is plastered everywhere, right? And the next day, it was, it was, it was all mouth publicity back in the day. Yeah. There's no, you know, all this social media. Mm. So now everybody's asking you, who is this guy? Who's Jazzy B? Yeah, who's who Jazzy, is Jazzy Bangs? Uh, th th that's where it started from. Oh, wow. So I always used to write Jazzy Bangs, oh. but then people started calling Jazzy B. Yeah. So I said, okay, why not? It, it's, I am it's sticking, what, it, you yeah. are Jazzy B? Yeah, that's it. There you go. So that's how it started, man. And your dress sense, your fashion yeah. is iconic. And throughout the years, you have given us some serious looks. Yeah, you, How did you come out with that? Well, I mean, even they can do jaloos kade, right? Uh, but th th that's like I said. Everyone's it, it, got something every, to say, right? It doesn't matter what you're wearing, they're going to You keep on. Yeah, you keep on, like, yeah. Yeah, then, you, then I'll say, Like, you know, you jeans. <laughs> See them up? <laughs> yeah. No, that actually happened. <laughs> I, I was flying from Amritsar, right? Uh, to Canada, I think. Yeah. And right, shirt on you, on you, all creased up, right? <laughs> Wrinkles, right? And pa ya, kanda kanda kaka kali kali cha gaya lagda. Me ha ki hoya kanda press ni ki thi. So you know what I mean. So you always gonna get that. Me ha ta apni thoda tour kaat ke gaya. I know, right? Puri tour kaat ke gaya. I think the look so iconic. I must say. So Jazzy, yeah. you support Liverpool. Yes, I do. Where did this come from? I just want to know like your thought process behind this because there's teams like Manchester United uh, as well. I don't know if you guys noticed, we don't hate anyone. Really? But seriously, we don't. <laughs> We don't. Sata match kiss and all we kidna hobe. There was hard team hard the Sapton Badanga Man United and then you put the Hargi and Hargi. I don't know what it is. And you know that. You know that's true. Where we're like, hey, we're happy. Like, hey, I'm happy you guys are doing good yeah. this year, right? Mm -hmm. Because I think we all go through that. Because you guys aren't doing too well this yeah, year. Yeah, well, not, 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 but, but you know what I mean? I think that's what every team had when they pass any car today. The down, the down, yeah, do they? On Garni Panigal boss now. You Listen know what I mean? to Jazzy B, no, he seriously, man, we, we need to spend some money on it. Do. do you still feel that kind of, at the start of your career, where you thought, OK, that one was a hit. What about the next one? Yeah. What about the next one? Did you have that kind of pressure on you as well that, OK, mm. this, like, my press songs were yeah. hits, they were good, they popped, but will the next ones? Yeah, I mean, definitely, I think being an artist, mm. you have to challenge yourself. And I think that's even a push them there. What's the reason, you know, you've been there in the industry for so long? And I tell them, I goes, I compete with my own self. Mm. I don't compete with anybody else. Never done that. If I made a song like Kuki and the Jodak, mm. you know, can I make it better than that? Yeah. You know, then London Uptola comes out. Can I make it better than that? Yeah. You know, then Okiri, all that, you know, Nag, nah, whatever. I just keep coming because yeah. I challenge myself. Like, oh, I, you know, when we used to work, 
Mian Shinda Paji, we never chose a song like Chalo Koli Ni Palan Nia. We try to make every song a hit. Yeah. Right? I, th I think that's one of the recipe uh, well, we Well, I was going to say this because you know? 30 years is a long, three decades, guys. Yeah. It's a long time. And in 30 years, we've seen so many artists come yeah. and go. But you have always stayed on top. Yeah. And that makes sense because you're competing with yourself with and not with anyone else. Yeah, I think when you compete with yourself, you're spending that energy on yourself. Mm. You know, that means you're wasting your energy, exactly. right? Because you're not yeah. con you're concentrating on other people you're rather you in the than wrong yourself. Places, yeah. yeah, you know. So that's, I think that's the reason, and I try to. Uh, you know, Joe Chalria, Uvi Dina, but obviously the folk, th yeah. that's my backbone. That's, yeah. You know, th that will never go away. So yeah. I think that's one of the reasons that people who grew up with my music, now they have their own kids. Yeah. You know, I think that's the beauty of music. When I see I've done somebody's wedding, now they've got a kid who's getting married <laughs> yeah. and I'm performing there too. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's circle of life. A, a circle of life. And yeah, some people don't do weddings, but I love performing at weddings. Because that's what's <laughs> Leah. You can actually get to meet. Yeah, you can get to meet. You can get to meet. You can get to You know, the Nabe Saldi, Zoraga, who Japi Padi Potter, who both they're going to. I think that's a blessing. That is. So I, I think that's when when you realize, too, oh, this is going on. It doesn't matter how much it is. You know what I mean? So yeah. You know, a lot of people like they do ask that, okay, how do artists evolve and keep going? But with you, I feel like you stayed in touch with your roots and yeah. you always did what you've always done. That's so it. performing at the weddings, being in direct contact with your audience well, and yeah, your yeah, fans. And yeah. I think that's why they've still got such love for you yeah. and why even the younger generations yeah still know Jazzy B. Yeah, yeah. It's not that it's just the older generation. Yeah, no, Everyone it, knows Jazzy It's, it's kind of like, you know, sometimes it's like, I look at it, like, it would be like 14, 15 year old girl, boy or a girl and singing London of Patola. It's like, yeah. you guys weren't even born that, but yeah. there you go. The, uh, that's the, I think that's a beautiful thing for music. Mm -hmm. And they're actually singing the words. They know it. Well, yeah. I remember last year when you performed at um, Players, just on yeah. Broad Street. Yeah. We did Uni Tour, if you guys remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And... I remember the turnout. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. room, you couldn't move, move in that yeah, room. Yeah, 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 I remember. It that. was packed, like literally tin of sardines. Yeah, yeah. And all of these uni kids, like they're as young as 18. Yeah, yeah. These guys knew every single yeah, song. Yeah, and yeah. you would think, like, this is like quite a young generation. Yeah, yeah. But they love you. Yeah, yeah. No, no, see, that's a blessing. Yeah. That's a blessing yeah. for any artist, you know, to be like that. So, yeah. You know when you made like iconic tracks like we've got Nag and Surma like when you made those did you know how iconic they were going to be? Well I mean you know and for an artist when we used to make songs let me tell you a story like when yeah. we had the Nag was going to come out uh, it was album it was called OKD mm -hmm. so the, there was an OKD track then another one then the third was a track I remember taking um, the album to tips Mm, okay. You know, that's, yeah. they used to listen to the first song, wah, wah, kya baat hai, second <laughs> one, and then every time Nag used to come, they used to skip it, right? And me and Shinda Pali were looking at it, that's our favorite track, <laughs> yeah. right? So even for the, they made like OKD video, all that, spent a lot of money like back in the yeah. days, you know, Pachi Shabbi, Lakh Lakh, whatever, right? And, and we made a video with 12,000 rupees huh. for Nag in a panda. That's like 120 pounds, guys. Uh, right, right yeah, 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 1,200 yeah. rupees, right, whatever. Um, 12,000, sorry. Uh, and we played it with Dur Darshan. It's like MTV of India, right? Yeah. For a panda. <laughs> and we, guess what? We blast out on that. Oh my God, the album just went fire, yeah. right? So the guy called uh, uh, Rajiv Rani uh, from Tips to Dinesh, he goes, Yari, kya hua? <laughs> Album bought the Garmogi, and the Dinesh goes Nag Shoda. So, you know what I mean? I think artists can feel it sometimes. The, the companies are because they don't know mm. uh, the journey, how you know that song. Oh, I can't believe that. that yeah. They were like, No, skip. Yeah, because that song, the guy who wrote that, Makhal Haranwara, I never met him. And mm. um, there's a friend of mine, Malkit Singh from uh, Dingy Place Tabla, mm. right? So, we did a tour for like a month. He actually had the song okay. for, in his book for like 10 years. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was just sitting there. So it, it was meant to be It was for, meant to be yours. For me, there you go. Oh, my God. Yeah. Who knew that story behind Nag? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh That's how it works. God. I think you have been like a very pivotal person in putting Punjabis on the map. 
especially I think Punjabis from obviously you were born in Punjab but you moved to Canada and I think you know for Punjabis that are living outside of Punjab in the UK Canada you were one of those people that became an icon and you really put us on the map and then even when it came to the farmers protest I just want to touch on you were a big big voice and a lot of people didn't raise their voices back then why for you was it like you took the initiative to I really was, speak I out? I think being an artist uh, you should do things like that mm. support the movement you know what I mean so uh, I think for obviously being a judge, being a farmer, I've seen my dad in India, mm. and even Canada, he used to work in a farm. Yeah. So it, it, it was everything for him. I goes, if he was live, wouldn't I go there? Yeah, right? So, yeah, it, it was horrible to see all these videos. I had to leave. I told my kids, hey, I might not come back. Right, but I have to go do this. Mm. Not because I'm just a singer, but I have to go this because a I'm a farmer too. Yeah, yeah. Right? So I know what they're going through. Yeah. So I'm just glad I got to uh, go there. Yeah. And my Twitter is still blocked, but uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> it's still blocked, but I don't care. You know what I mean? I think artists should speak up. Mm. You know, give back to the community, man. 100%. You know what I mean? Stand board, hona jaruri hai mere saavna. Taan ke na noe cycle da bhi stand honda. Jeda bande da stand hi hani pe phela ki. Exactly, mm. yeah. That's true, because I was going to say, like, as an artist, you have this big platform. So obviously to you, you know, I can use this. Yeah, yeah. To help my people, to help my community. Yeah, yeah. To raise their voices. Definitely, man. Definitely. 100 I love that. And you guys need to take notes. Yeah. So obviously, Jazzy, you have broke into mainstream as well. How was it when Bollywood kind of approached you to remake one of your tracks? How was that process? Yeah, it's good, man. Mm. I, th I think I always said I've really been really blunt about it. Mm. I think the one thing I don't like about Bollywood is very unprofessional. Like, you know, because mm. you know, I did a few songs where they didn't even tell me when it's going to come out yeah. or the music is even, it's not even finished. Mm. Right? Where like, you know, when I did obviously the Lutia, yeah. because that's the same team as Tips. Yeah. Right? So the, I knew what they were going to do. <laughs> right? So they, they did it properly and obviously partnered in the rhyme, mm. Hardeep. Right? And um, when our artist says, he goes, yo, that's not an easy song to remake because mm. it's, it's still going. Mm. Right? When I think when Hardeep yeah. said that, I go, I knew these guys were going to do a good job. Yeah. So I'm glad because it was the same team, yeah. you know, the, from Tips. Uh, and I'm glad, but like I said, uh, I told after that, Bollywood, I goes, if you don't want Jazzy B, I'll produce it for you and give it to you. Mm. I don't want a song, r remake it and ruin the and song. And ruins the song, Jules. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Because that happens a lot. It, it happens a lot, man. They take out Punjabi yeah, songs and yeah. they turn it and into something it, it I just, do not yeah, want to listen yeah. to. It. Yeah, so yeah. Which one do you prefer, what? original or remake? No, I mean, original is original. You can't touch it, yeah, you can't. right? But yeah. some, some of the, you know, the songs, the remix are good too. Yeah. But original, yeah. you can't touch it. You can't. You know, it's, it's like even some of the people say, oh, do a remake of that. No, you can't. Why? For what? How, don't. How, how are you going to do that? You need to fix something that isn't yeah. broken, you know? Yeah, it's, 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 it's like, yeah, yeah. So it's very tough. That is true. But original is original. 100%. So let's talk about your inspirations and some of the legends that you've paid tribute to. Let's talk about them. Yeah, well, Ustadji, Kuldeep Marnik, man. He's the reason uh, I am here sitting with you today, talking about it. I think uh, seeing him the first time performing, boom, and dreamt. And, and I'm blessed, I'm lucky. I consider myself very lucky that I didn't only get to do one song with them, but the whole Maharaja's album. Yeah. Oh man, the, just to be in the same room, here's the stories. It was, it was a beautiful thing, man, you know, and just gone too soon. You know what I mean? And of course, yeah. So, Jazzy, since we're celebrating three decades, I want you to talk about three highlights of your career. I know that's really hard to ask, but let's pick one highlight from each decade. Okay, well, I think the first one obviously got to be my first performance. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember in Surrey, the album was going to drop and Manmohan uh, Waris, Sangatar and Kamal Hira, they just came from India. And uh, that was my first performance live with them uh, in Surrey Art Centre. And back in the days, it was all 
bought TV. Mm. There was no social media. So my whole family gathered together with Saturday Monday night. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I think that was my highlight because yeah. they're all sitting together yeah. and my mom and dad are being proud like, yeah. they understood it. They, yeah, they, 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 it. they yeah. understood it. And next morning, you know, all the neighbors are coming, oh, see, they see. And then all that. Yeah, I think that was, you know, it, it, yeah. it, it's a blessing. Mm. That, that's got to be the first one. Yeah. First time being on TV and people actually like, oh, how yeah. heavy. You know what I mean? So, uh, well, then, I mean, I think the biggest show we did, uh, me and Shindapaji did a show in um, Toronto, Wonderland, uh, where we actually got an official um, email from the venue that we broke Michael Jackson's record. Stop with, it. Seriously. Yeah. With, uh, that's how many people were there, man. No Everywhere you see. Way. Yeah. So that, that's a highlight. That's, I think, what. That's major. Yeah, that, that's, yeah that's, that's like, wow, really? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So that's the second one. And the third one got to be me working with Ostaji. Yeah. You know, Maharaja's album, the whole album. Uh, you know, here's a four year old kid wanting to be like him, and here's. You're working Sitting with them yeah. and working with them and oh, that, what a moment! That, yeah, it, it's just like wow, you know. That's definitely like yeah, top yeah, moment. That's top. Right? That's, that's you know highlight. that even that album, Maharaja album, yeah. that's that's always going to be a masterpiece for me. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so other than that album, because I know that holds a very special place in your heart. <laughs> yeah. What has been another project that has just been up there for you when you thought, yeah, this is it? Uh. I think Romeo album. Yeah. You know, it's it's, it's one of the that album kind of like, it, it, the all the songs were like, wow, okay. People like, yeah, I like this one. No, I like this one. I, you know, yeah. that that's a good thing for an artist. Yeah. You know, not, not just one track. So even when De Lutia came out, yeah. you know, the video of me and Apache working the first time together, and people were just blown away. You know, yeah. so I think yeah, that's another album. You know what I mean? Yeah. De Lutia, amazing Lutia, yeah. track. All right, so you've worked with a lot of people over the years. Yeah. Who's been some of your favorites? What are some funny stories you can tell us? I mean, because I'm sure you've got a few. Yeah, I mean, you know, for obviously starting with uh, Shindapadi, mm -hmm. you know, the way we used to work used to be every day in the studio, like five days a week, you know, starts like nine, ten in the morning until five, six. Mm -hmm. That was a routine. And how he used to work, you know, record everything, all the pieces, do homework at home. Or actually wow. record it, you know, yeah. the, you know, so we, we don't have, obviously, studio costs a lot of money. Mm. So, you know, if you've done your homework, and you'll save some time too, right? Yeah. So I think that was a, a fun working day, because it would be like every day together. But now everything changes. Where I'm sitting in Canada, you know, frenzies over in the UK. It's like, yeah. okay, <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's a, it's a different different timing. Yeah, you know, the one of the WhatsApp they record Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Send it to me. yeah. But I but I think I like the old times because mm. it's, 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 it's with the passion. Yeah. Right? Because, okay, if, if uh, Shindapa you done a song and he's sitting with the engineer, we know it, 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 how the mix is going to be. Now, you know, somebody else is producing it, yeah. then somebody else is mixing it. And you're just sending your vocals, you don't know what's the, happening. You know, yeah. yeah, so I think I miss the old time, man. Yeah. But, but it's been fun though, you know, with like working with like Honey Singh or mm. DJ Frenzy, all that, man. You know, it's like yeah. a, two different things. Cause yeah. you know, that, like I said, folk and funky, it's all about that. I try to keep the balance. Yeah. You know, we're a party getting hard, but then you get Juts in the Hood. Proper Juts in the Hood. I saw, that, when that came out. Yeah, that's that's a proper um, yeah. Englandia style, man. That, you know what I mean? When that track came out, because yeah. I feel like the UK Pangra scene, like we had a very distinct sound yeah, back yeah, in the day, yeah, like yeah. in the 2000s. Yeah. And we kind of lost that. Lost it, and yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, there was nothing kind of the UK was bringing out. And then Juts in the Hood came yeah, out yeah. and we were like, Old school jazz. Yeah, and we got a tractor on Soho Road. Oh my Why God, not, that man? was <laughs> iconic. <laughs> yeah. Because we didn't know that track was coming out until Frenzy like planned the launch party and so yeah. we thought, okay, yeah. something's coming. Yeah. And then there were videos of you on Soho Road. Yeah, that, I and remember we when like... I, even when I came first time here, you know, I, I, I got a picture. A friend of mine, Taro, uh, back in the day, she used to work in a magazine. Yeah. And so she actually took a picture that came in a magazine. So I had to re, 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 re <laughs> yeah. press that, you know what I mean? So it's like, it was, it was the moment like, hey, I remember first time I came here and now here we shoot in the video on that. 
you know, so the yeah, that's track on Soho Road. That's just iconic, yeah. Man. Yeah, man, that, yeah, yeah. How was that? You know, seeing all the love from like all these people, like they must have been shocked. Oh yeah, it, it, like, people like, like what? <laughs> <laughs> and the next thing you see a cop driving by, like, what are you guys doing, man? <laughs> like, yeah, it's a tractor, man, representing the farmers. Do you know what I mean? Do you know Jazzy B? <laughs> yeah. No, that yeah. track was yeah. honest. What was it like bringing back that proper Englandia style? It, it, it was beautiful because yeah. it see. Swad Udi on that job that producer we question yeah. and that's I think being an artist I got my style whatever but if the producers are not happy and I'm like that because I'll send them vocally good now everybody who go then actually we re-record it when I came to UK uh, at Planet Studio yeah right that's that's why that track worked because he's yeah. right there like yeah, telling exactly. me you know what I mean I think that's why like I said the love works yeah, I remember speaking to Frenzy at the launch yeah, party and yeah. he was saying like, I knew this was going to be a banger, but yeah, you know, yeah. there's always that bit of like anticipation, like yeah, what's yeah, going to yeah, happen. Yeah, you still. But I when, that, when we heard that track for yeah, the first yeah. time, we were like, yeah. oh my God, this is something. <laughs> yeah. And that dominated the charts. Oh, definitely, definitely. For ages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even, even like on DJs, all the DJs around the world playing that, every time that it drops, People just go crazy. It does something to us. That, 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 really that, that, that's why it shows, man. The folk, it will never die. Exactly. It will never die. No, it you know, really will. Yeah. I think that's what we love. We yeah. love our proper yeah. desi, folky yeah. music. Yeah. Like, we all love it. We can all listen to all this new stuff. Yeah, but really, yeah. that's the Andro stuff that gets us going. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Now, you spoke about, you know, people even make tracks over WhatsApp now. Yeah. So, you know, making that transition and especially with social media, because when you started out, like you said earlier, you were putting posters up. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, when social media came about, what was that like? And you kind of had to think, OK, now I have to download TikTok or Instagram and stuff like that. Did you feel kind of a pressure that now I need to start doing these things? Yeah, yeah. Like, hmm. see, I think I had a friend in the circle. I remember, still, I didn't know anything about Twitter or anything. I'm yeah. sitting at Pete Singh's house yeah. and he's like, bro, you're an artist, you have to do this. <laughs> and he actually downloaded it for me and made the thing. I'm like, okay. You know, then a friend of mine, Kelly Quest, he did my Instagram, all this. He goes, Paji, you have to Snapchat. He's constantly telling me you have to do this. It is pressure, I think, you know, but it, it, it kind of like, I think made it easier as well. You know, Do you think it like brought you world... closer to your fans as well, worldwide? Yeah, I mean, I could be sitting right here, somebody's going to snap in and boom, we'd be like, oh, he's right there. And, yeah. and they could see what's, you know, they'll get the pictures even before I post it. Okay. You know, I think that's that helps an artist too, mm. in a way. But I'm a desi bandai, I like my old times too. Sometimes I do that. I just did that a couple of weeks ago. Just didn't post anything. Just wanted to be off it. Yeah. I think it's, it's 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 really important for your mental health. One hundred percent. बहुत जरूरी है क्योंकि कई बार आप तो सी कमेंट पढ़ रहे हैं, they write something like so silly or so hurting. They don't even realize it. Yeah, it's it, true. Yeah. Right, and you're like, whoa, you know, okay, I don't need this. Let, let's just take a break. So I think yeah. it's, it's very important. But some people get too much into it. That's you know, true. You uh, know, and I notice some people cry for help on social media. Don't mm. do that, man. Seriously, if you want to talk about it, you should talk about it. It's most important because all this... I think, you know, social yeah. media has kind of warped everyone's reality yeah, and people yeah. think social media is real life no, it's and not. everything has to be on there. But if that goes, no, yeah. then what happens? That, that's what happened. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let me tell you a story. When we were shooting Snowman, mm. right, the movie, we our phone didn't used to work there yeah. because it was like in a jungle and yeah. it was beautiful. Yeah. You know, the phone will only work when we get back to the hotel. Yeah. And the time we had, we just sit there, talk, you know, give yeah. these, I'm there, you know, everybody's yeah. around and just talking about old stuff. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, sometimes you just need a break, man. That happened to me, actually. I wasn't in the jungle or anything, but yeah. my phone broke <laughs> while I was on set, actually. Yeah. And it just didn't work. And at first I was like, oh my God, like everything's everything's do? on here. Yeah. I don't know anyone's number, number up yeah, my heart, yeah, just yeah. my dad's and my landline. Yeah. And then after that, the panic. Yeah. I went to the phone shop and he goes, okay, we can fix it, but it will be about a day. So I just dealt with it. I thought, okay, yeah, yeah. like I'm gonna have to go 24 hours without a phone. Yeah. 
But I'm telling you, the morning when I woke up the next day yeah. and I didn't have to go to my phone straight away, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was so refreshing. It is, yeah. And it now is. I try not to go on my phone yeah. first thing in the morning because yeah. we're just so used to this online world. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I agree with you because, you know, when they don't remember any other number, you know, back in the days, there was no like all this Google and all that. So people remember. My baby knows everyone's <laughs> number yeah. off by heart. Yeah, yeah. Anyone, even yeah. if they're from a different part of England, yeah, yeah. all the Punjab numbers, she knows it yeah. off by heart. Yeah. And we're like, how do you zero, do that? Zero, four, four, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we're like, how do you remember everyone's yeah. number? Or, you know, on the answer yeah. machine, when someone's yeah. left a message, yeah. and like the woman, she's telling you, okay, you've got a call from 0121, blah, blah, blah. She's like, oh, and you can draw the number. And we're like, how do you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's time for the fun part of this show, Bolia with Ney, now Jazzy. I have my golly, and golly you're going to make some bullies. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a very simple game. Okay. You're going to pick out a little piece of paper. It's going to say a word. Now you can either do a bully, you can sing a line. Oh, you're the creative genius here, so I'm going to leave it to you. Okay. Easy? I think so. Yep, let's go. But you have there. have to give you a bit of choice, you know? Hummer. Yeah. Okay. What do you want me to do? Do a bodily? Anything? Yeah, I could do a Yar belly ban ban tolliya, ran botla hummer vich kholliya, mere modde te bandook paunde boliya, boliya. There you go, bodily man. <laughs> oh mate, what that was a strong start. <laughs> okay. Kind of easy. How many have we got? We're going to do 5. Okay. Oh. Very good. Canada, like here, now Punjabi style. Canada. 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 Okay, Jazzy, the rule for the next one is you can't use one of your own. Okay. Then I get gamma. No, you have to make it now on the spot. Oh, you want to make it now? Yeah. Okay. I got that Romeo. Right? Then I'm going to go to my own song. I'm going to go to my own song. I'm going to go to my own song. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Romeo, 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 ni tu Romeo bana ke mudde rakhte rakhte, Romeo bana ke mudde rakhte. Apni gana yahan di gaya tha. I think this could be the easiest bully on with Nay I've ever done. Oh my God, it's a history song, Nag. Okay, yeah. I'm not going to make you change this. No, actually, I'm going to change it. Oh. Gotti utte ban ke rumal, Nag bangu mehl di vire. Gotti utte ban ke rumal, Nag bangu mehl di vire. Ye bhi apna hi hai, bhai toh. Okay. Oh, way too easy. Uh, is that Jutti or Jutti? I think that says Jutti. Jutti. Jutti kare matte yaar di chiku chiku Maaye ni haaye ni Jutti kare matte yaar di chiku chiku Ve sajna achke Jutti, I'm going to go to the mood. Okay, amazing. Next time I'm going to make it much harder. Yeah. Okay, now it's time for our quick fire round. Ooh, quick fire. Okay, so quick fire with Nay. So you are hosting dinner. Okay. You can invite five people, dead or alive. Who are you inviting? Uh, well, first of all, it's Taji, man. Of course. Head, head of the table. Yeah. Then Sardul Paji will be yeah. def definitely there. Uh, uh, Easy E, he's a rapper mm. from um, NWA. Yeah. One of my favorite. And obviously, I'll be there too, right? No, but you don't count. I'm, I don't count. No. Okay. The fourth one. Because you're the host. Oh, I'm the host. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ashvia Rai. Okay. Yeah. I, li I like her. What do you, have you seen her recent picture at the event? Uh, yeah. 
What do you think about her stylist? Because wow. I was very offended. She was Miss Universe. Yeah, I don't know. 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 Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's it. <laughs> right? I don't know. 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 That's true. You know what I mean? But fair be, I thought, come on. I'm sure you're a stylist. Yeah. Well, I don't know. पैसे काट देते हैं उनके कि न तेन हो गए चार हो गए भाई या तेन ना कि चार चार हो गए चार हो गए ओके पांच माँ आई थिंक द लेजेंड चार जी दहुजा साहब ही इज़ ही इज़ ही इज़ वन ऑफ माय फेवरेड म्यूजिक डायरेक्टर सो डेफिनेटली हैव हिम दैट इज़ अ गुड टेबल जस्ट हेयर द स्टोरीज़ क्योंकि यू नो उस्ताजी स्ट and Charanjit Dhuja sahab said, he said, your one friend was a friend of mine. He was a friend of mine. You know what I mean? He was a friend of mine. So the bond they had, and we create that. And of course, Sardul Paji and Dhuja sahab worked together. Oh man, I don't know about the dinner, but that's going to be a thing. The stories are going to be iconic, yeah. Yeah, definitely. We'll have the food later. Yeah. Okay, so obviously you have worked with a lot of people. The next question on this is dream collab. But I feel like you've maybe already had your dream collab, right? Yeah. So is there anyone from, let's say, the new age artists that you would want to work with? Uh, I think I gotta, it got to be mainstream. Mm. Drake. Oh, yeah. Canadian Munda. Canada. Canada. Yeah. You know, I think one thing I would have liked to do, mm. well, you know, Sidhu Nal Kamu Karna Siga. You know, but it wasn't meant to be. Mm. You know, I think that guy kind of like went to Canada, go to Canada, so much respect towards his parents. Yeah. I think, yeah, what a... What a guy? Uh, yeah, what a guy. I wish we, we did work together, but yeah. he will live on forever. He right? will? Yeah, definitely. And his new track actually came out, yeah, guys. That, yeah. Merana with Mirana. Burner Boy and Steel Bangles. Yeah, Check so that make, out. Make sure you guys support yeah. me, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. that would have been legendary. Yeah. Okay, so have you watched Men in Black? Uh, yeah, which one? Any of them? Uh, yeah, Will yeah. Smith. Yeah? Yeah. So, remember the clicky thing that yeah. makes people forget the memories and, you know, oh, erase it, erase it. memory? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> show karna na. <laughs> I don't read and no. sing, so please don't do that. Memory, uh, not gonna <laughs> No, no, I don't have that kind of technology. Who are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Jazzy, it's me. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. if you had the clicky thing, yeah. and you had to erase one of your songs, uh, Which song would it be? Oh my god, I think that's an easy one. Huh? It's Odo Nar Waj Hunda Saga Be Hindi Gana Karna. Right? <laughs> and we did, we, did, we did the song even when we were recording. Me and Shindapa, you're laughing, man. But you know, it's like, Gana Saga Dila Hai Tera Divana, Hai Hai Kudiya. Right? And I hated that song, man. <laughs> right? So, chill again. That doesn't exist anymore. I don't remember. Hindi karna, Bollywood market, Bollywood market. Yeah, that's gone now, guys. Yeah, that's gone. Erased. Sorry, I mean, I thought that Kohli sahab was written, but... I thought it was written, but I didn't write it. It just didn't work for a second. Okay, what is the weirdest food combination that you like? What do I... food combination? Yeah. The weirdest one. Because gay looky, they have like blonde hair with ketchup. Oh my God, really? Yeah. Uh, Not me, but... Oh, speaking of a ketchup, uh, 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 there's a friend of mine, right? Bilal, I don't know They... I think he was staying in Shimla somewhere, mm. right? At night, he was in the night. He was in the night, and he was in the night, and he was tomato soup. I guess what it was? It was ketchup. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> he was tomato soup in the night. So, so, yeah. I'm like, I'm, we're looking at him, I'm like, really? The whole, that must have been the, the whole, yeah, man. I don't think, I don't know. I, I don't think I have okay. anything like that. But you know, what about when like, you're craving something? What? Occasionally, like I don't know, I would have like masandi dal with like while I'm drinking matcha. But I, I don't think that's weird. No, that's not that. That's weird. all right, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't think so. No. Okay. For Jazzy has no weird food combinations. Yeah. Well, well, well if I do, I don't know. Ketchup as tomato yeah, soup. Yeah, tomato I can't soup. Get over that. Tomato soup, man. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Jazzy. So that was really good. Quick fire. Was it? Yeah, that was oh, good. All right. So obviously you are celebrating your 30 years. We're going to be at Symphony Hall. That's right. In a few weeks. Yeah, 23rd. And this is going to be an iconic concert. Why is this going to be different to the rest? Uh, well, I think uh, first of all, uh, Tony, you know the way he 
planning things. I think it's, it's, it's the first thing he said. He goes, you know, I want to make this like a different thing. So the whole team is working really hard, yeah. right? And I'm trying working hard too with, you know, all the band guys, you know, practice, mm -hmm. you know, because it's, it's a big catalog. Right, so yeah. I, you know, I, I, I want people to listen to from Cookie and the Dura uh, to right now, you know, yeah. born ready. So we, we're trying to plan it, yeah. you know, and hopefully we can live up to the, you know, potential. I'm sure of it. you will. I think yeah. it's going to so. be an iconic, iconic night. Yeah. Yeah. So there are some tickets available. I think there's a few left. So go get them while you can. Idani ke idan wale tikta bahut hai. Khrid do jaake, okay? Sold out karna pa. I yeah. think it nearly is sold out. <laughs> no, no, seriously, no, I, 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 seriously yeah. I want to tell people, bring your family, your kids, yeah, man. Exactly. It's, it's, it's a journey what I went through, mm. you know, and, and I like to inspire people, especially the young generation, the kids, yeah. you know, it's okay to dream, yeah. you know, and they do come true. I'm right, sitting right here. So the living you know, example, the ordinary yeah. one day family, see, like, you know, yeah. middle class family, like nobody in, in the family had nothing to do with music, but mm. You know, and, and that's why I tell the kids and I tell the parents too, let your kids choose their own path. Yeah, you help them, you guide them, yeah. but don't force anything on them. Yeah, exactly. You know, what you don't to do it, do it. Like, no. Doctor, banna. Yeah, it's okay to be <laughs> a if, if he, he or she wants to be a doctor, yeah, right? But don't force it. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, education is very important. Yeah, you know, you must, guys, you know, who can't say that? But your life, your whole life, you have to enjoy it. You have to, it. Yeah. You have to deal with a smile. Like, you know, yeah. when I, even I'm flying sometimes, right? You know, and I see like, like, I guess you don't want to be here. And I talk to them. Yeah. Um, like, I guess don't take it wrong way. But I think you don't like your job. Yeah. And they'll open up. They go, yeah, actually, I don't. You know, yeah. like, so it's okay. But do the things you're going to love for the rest of your life. Yes. Follow your dreams. Follow your dreams, man. Amazing. Yeah. Beautiful words, Jazzy. Thank you. And I'm so excited for the concert. Yeah, so am I. I think so it's going to be wicked. I've got my suit ready. Yeah. Can't wait. <laughs>